do you see how we can't tell the truth? <laughs> the, the, the lie, right? That means that he thinks about it. See, do, do you understand what I'm saying? You should say, I don't think about killing my woman. But you go, you trying to get me killed? I, if I tell you how I kill this bitch, she gonna <laughs> kill me. saying that dogs should be equal citizens either i love my dog no cap. Man, but I, get that I motherfucker out of the kitchen you know it's wrong to train them and they're out of control and i'm not really a, a caesar milan understander i try i try with what is but my i got a i got a westy a little westy a uh, poodle and i love my dogs man i let and i let them go to the bathroom on the wee wee pad in the house man i, I don't care I like, and everything's good when they do that because they got a little baby you know when they eating right, the, the, the it'd be nice little little. Them little shits. You know. <laughs> I don't have. They don't have to scratch. They just uh, do their thing. And when they do their thing, everything's beautiful. I go, good boy, good girl, bow, and everybody's happy. But sometimes they just decide they're gonna try me and go like they have a meeting and go. You know what? Let me see what happens if I piss on this good rug that he bought. Let's see. <laughs> Why don't you want me to piss on the dog? I'll pay. Who's going to do it? You just come on. One, two, three. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. The cat. And then the other no one peeking cat. around the corner like, oh, okay, okay. And just, ugh. It's usually the Westy because he got the cutest look. The Westy got the, got the sad, like, what did I do, face? So I'll be like, what are you doing? Oh, come on, man. Why would you do that? He says, I'm dumb. I don't know. <laughs> I go, go ahead, boy. Come on, man. Everybody's happy. And then, like, because when I was younger, this is how you train dogs. It was no, it was easy. You just put them down when they first get in the house, and you just hide around the corner, you know? And you just wait. You wait till it goes to the bathroom where it ain't supposed to. As soon as he crunch up and go to the bathroom, you got to wait to the first. And then you just run, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> and you, you shove his face in shit. How's that feel? Shitty face, your face stink. How's that? What? He's like, what? Choke him out. Nah, that is true though. Like, niggas, uh, the dog took his shit, bro, in your house or wherever it is. Like, people would, like, for shit growing up, we would, if you put the dog's nose into the shit, not like actually put it in the shit, but close up to it so they'll know not to. That, that, and pat on the nose, no, not to do that. You start tapping like, oh, hey, kick him. Don't shit on my rug, you mother. <laughs> He'll never shit there again. Like, he may go there, but him? <laughs> He'll pull a cigarette out first week. He like, God. Woo, something happened to me. Bad there. I'm scared to even get near there. I'm gonna do heroin when he get near that spot. I'll kill you. That rug costs more than you, motherfucker! <laughs> but I'm trying to save you, man, because you are the future, my friend. Because I'm finished. I'm stuck in a relationship. Done. Done. This is a man in love. Here's, here's the face of a man in love. <laughs> and the face of a woman in love is like, yay, yay, I'm in love. But the face of a man in like is like, yeah, man, I like her. And women are like, where is this going? Why does it have to go somewhere? It's just cool right now. Like, Here's the best relationship in the world is when the woman loves you and the man likes her. So if I like you and you love me, that's perfection. <laughs> 
because I like like. Like is like when that's when he's happy to see you and happy to hear you and, and you doing things that don't disrespect the, the happen. You lie about liking sports and you do all kind of things. I know that sounds like ridiculous, but I'll put it in vaginal terms for you. Because <laughs> I see the faces like, huh? And then guys go, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, but I, I but guys do. I, I speak fluent dude, man. I understand how we are. Let me tell you why. Okay, ladies, you, how many times has there been a guy in your life, or it, guys, in, where there's been men in your life who want to sleep with you, but you didn't want to sleep with him? Yeah. Zillions, you can't count it. So, <laughs> what that means, there's a, there's a philosophy there, meaning you are sexable. He wants to sleep with you, but just because you are sexable don't mean I'm sexable, right? Same thing with love. Just because I'm lovable. It's actually funny as fuck. Doesn't mean that you're lovable too. You're just likable to me. You didn't do for me what I did for you to feel that way. Do you understand what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's very simple. So if you just wait for me to love you, then you, you, be all right. you might have to wait a while. <laughs> but men don't have the option to muscle you like you muscle us. You know, you got to either shit or get off the pot. We've been together this many months and it's time for us to discover where... Like, but... Men don't say nothing like that to muscle you, man. That's, that's, you know, I can't go, look, we've been going out for a week now. It's, 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 uh... It's time for you to roll these panties down, because... It's been too long. I've been buying you drinks, and you got to either shit or get off the pot. Thanks, though. Thanks. But when your woman loves you, it's very difficult to get past that, man. A woman's love is so beautiful, man. It's not, men's love is not as beautiful. It ain't pure, because it's a work, it's job. I look at my girl laying there, I be like, yeah, huh. oh, man. I want to call out sick from love. I be like, damn. But she's sleeping right there. I be wanting to give the call in sick voice. Oh, I, got, I can't make it to love you today. I got to. Oh, but when your woman love you, man, you feel weird. I try to start arguments with my girl uh, all the time just so that she love me less because she just, the way she love me is just too much. I'm like, damn. It ain't, it's not necessary. <laughs> but she loves, man. And, and, and love for a woman embodies yeah, everything. Think about that. It's like, I, 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 I. she's concerned about my health. Ain't no man in here ever asked how their woman's health is, ever. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long y'all been together, by the way, bro? <laughs> Two years. Have you ever asked her a health question? Never. It ain't happening. He never. We don't know when she last time she checked her uh, titties for for lumps. Anybody's man ever asked me to check your titties for fucking lumps? No. Yes, it, if though. you take pills, do your man go? Have you taken your pills? No, we don't give a shit. <laughs> Knock your pills off the guy. Move. What's all these pills, you sick bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like Maracas around no, here, you cow. sick. No cow. We be having a lot of pills. And bro. it's not because we don't care about you. It's just the way we care. It's not the way, you know. Men don't care about health in general. We don't care about being sick. I should be getting prostate checks every week. <laughs> I should be at least doing my own prostate check. You can, if your prostate swelled up, you could put your own finger in your booty, right? <laughs> to see if your prostate swelled, because you, you can't, but look, all of that, I'll never know, because I'm not gonna stick, I'll, I'll let my prostate fall out my asshole first. <laughs>
I'll be walking, it'll fall on the ground. I'll be like, is that my purse? They just fell out my ass. That's crazy as fuck. That's nasty as fuck. That's nasty as fuck. And I still wouldn't go to the hospital. I call one of my friends on the phone. Hey, man, your prostate ever fall out your ass on? <laughs> what you do about it? Put some duct tape? All right, put some duct tape. <laughs> It's beautiful, uh, the love. I'm telling you, I'm diabetic, man, and, and, and you know, I'm not gonna find no woman that gives us cares. Just off the street. Cause diabetes, look, I don't, first of all, I don't support it. I, <laughs> if I didn't have it, I could give a, it's just whatever, dude, really. Can't eat cookies, faggot, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> This is funny, bro. But I got that miserable disease. It's just, it's one of those, it's deteriorating. It's just a, it's just a pain in the ass. Cause I can't eat and drink what I want. Like I can eat as many vegetables as I want. <laughs> Patrice, you can have all the Brussels sprouts you ever needed. It's like, oh. Why can't I eat pasta and cake? But you can't. And it's hard. It's like being addicted. Food is, I'm telling you, food is an everyday, like, I'd be like, oh my God, man, food again? I got to think about every day. I got to think. Uh, I go to sleep w thinking about food tomorrow. Like, what am I going to do? I, today, I had salad and fruit, and I, I'm going to celebrate tomorrow by having a whole lamb leg <laughs> to celebrate how good I ate yesterday. It's, Move it's it just back. A suffering. Backwards is fun. And I understand being addicted. Any smokers, smokers here? Anybody just uh, smoking? See, and that's like, and that's you're young man. Then, but you know, you know, it's a, it's a, you don't, you don't, you're good people. You don't want to die. You know, smoking is a, like, you just know, you dying. Like, oh, not cigarettes though. I don't smoke cigarettes. Man, oh man, dog. And you're gonna get cancer. Like you know, you're gonna get cancer. And you're giving other people cancer, you're like, you're like, I'm not a bad person, I just can't keep it, I can't keep it, uh, down in my system here. <laughs> and then the pack of cigarettes, they used to say things like, uh, cigarettes possibly might <laughs> cause you to be ill at some point in your life. Now they say that will kill you, and you still... <laughs> <laughs> and then you got the cigarette boxes in Canada. You ever see Canada cigarette boxes? They got dead babies on the box. Like it just be a dead baby. Can you imagine smoking and rationalizing? <laughs> as you tell yourself, you be like, man, I'm glad I made it past his age. God damn. <laughs> How old was he when he started smoking? Like a, a day old? Jesus, slow down, nigga, use a filter. <laughs> I saw some white chocolate covered Oreos. White Oreos dipped in chocolate, man. I, I, could, it was, I was in, in tears, like, knowing I shouldn't eat it, but I was in pain. Like, going, oh my God, and I'm talking to myself, like, I can't eat these cookies, man, and they're calling me, and I'm praying to God, and I'm... And I'm lactose intolerant, but like if I eat these cookies, I gotta drink milk too. I'm gonna go out like a soldier. It's like whatever. Yeah, that's funny as hell. Then you say all kind of weird stuff to you to rationalize eating them. I'd be like, you know what? I don't need both my feet. I'm not a. I'm not a ballerina. I don't. All I need oh is God. one so I can drive my car. Oh God. I'm gonna tell you a quick love story, man. This will sum up how much my girl loved me, and it's amazing. Um, you know, like I said, I'm diabetic, man, but um, you know, it's a true story. When we have sex, we're really, uh, really dirty, man. We, we're really dirty. <laughs> uh, we pee on each other in the whole. <laughs> But that's, don't get past oh, that. Oh my this God. is true love. So, he said, don't get past this. It. true so love. I'm, 
we're having sex, right? About two years ago this happened. We're having sex, and then uh, afterwards she's like, you know, that was good, but I think we got to go to the hospital, get you checked out. I said, why? She said, because your pee tastes like birthday cake. <laughs> and That's crazy. Isn't that love? If you could get past the pee part, that's love, right? That is love. But she's love. like, oh, your pee is too delicious. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> she go, you peed in my mouth, you nasty. She, she's just like, oh, my God, your pee tastes... I don't like the way it tastes. It tastes scrumptious. What am I doing? Oh, you, you got to marry three her. goofy girls look. they like, man, you be in my mouth. Blah, 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 blah. That means you're not going to love me to the degree that I need to save my life, are you? No. You got a point. You. I you don't need point. you if you can't taste my bee and go, something's wrong. You need to go check yourself. But then it's like, it's in your body Judge now. Judge me. <laughs> That's your woman, bro? How long you guys been together? Ten years. Wow. Good, good. How long? Two, two and a half, three years? Good. Y'all going, y'all going raw? <laughs> you sticking raw? You do? You doing that? Okay, you put in, you put in raw? You look like Look, she punched him. She... You know what? Let yeah. me explain. She just hit him in his arm. I'm going to explain something to you. The quicker that a man goes raw, it makes him look like, you know, go ahead, pimp. You, you got it in raw. The quicker the woman goes raw, it makes you look... Yeah, loose. It makes you look bad. Because safe sex is a woman's responsibility. Because men are trying to do it the first, second we meet. Look, my protection is just, I do this. And I just go, <laughs> just not age, God. <laughs> Please don't let me get sick and die. <laughs> it is your responsibility. Yeah. When did y'all decide to, to do it? How long did it take, bro? How long did it take? It took a while. What's a while? What's a while to you? She lying. Probably the first day. Hey, did you do the old bagless trick where you would just slowly, like, just try to put it in without... And you just, hopefully, she stopped you, that, that old trick, like, okay, all right, it's getting close, and I think I'm gonna... I ain't got nothing on it yet. And then it started getting real close. She'd be like, no, she gonna let me... Oh! We both gonna die. Oh, we gonna die. She's let me go raw. Oh, but we won't stop though. Oh, come on, stop me. <laughs> and I can't use no condom no more. It's over. Condom days. I probably pull a trash bag on my shit. It just like the wham wham music. It's just dead. I have to see if my balls can fit in there, too. Like, all right, how's that, baby? They both in there, soft, but his balls and dick is in there. You okay? How's that feel? Filled up? You feel filled up? That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm going to show you something, ladies, right? I'm going to show you something. Here's why you should be responsible for safe sex. All right, how many guys in here, honestly, have used a dental dam before? <laughs> Niggas don't even know what the fuck that is. That's a uh, thing, that's a condom for your tongue. Do you know what a dental dam is? You do? No one's ever used one before, huh? See? See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I don't even know the how they still on the, the, on the put market. Put that condom on. But you know what a dental dam is? It's a piece of a trash bag, right? <laughs> 
about as big as a napkin that you flip out and you lay it over a woman's vagina just in case, you know, it's, it's, it's poison. <laughs> to protect us from imminent danger, but we don't use it because you'll be insulted. If I'm getting ready to have sex with you and I pull out a piece of a trash can, <laughs> and you go, uh, what is that? Oh, I'm just gonna lay that over your vagina just in case it kills me. I'm sorry, what did you say? And we see that face or nothing. Forget it. Don't even pretend I, you didn't see that. I'd rather die than to <laughs> insult my way out of some pussy. I'd rather just get what you got. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. No offense. But that's us. We are not like you. Understand that. We're good creatures, special, we are, but we're just not like you. We're not like we don't tell the truth. And the reason is, is because we cannot. <laughs> truth is, uh, here's what truth is. Truth is a feeling that goes from your gut to your mouth instantaneously. Women get to be truthful. You get to say, and you say any kind of foul, because you don't have an editing. It just comes up. I just, two plus two is seven. <laughs> Just say it. Okay. Ah, ah, and you'd be like, it's, it's, it's four. Ah, it ain't, it's whatever I want to be. Ah, I'm going to talk if I feel like it. Ah, and men don't do that. We can't be honest with you. Man truth is cruel. If we Real told shit. you the truth all the time, that's cruelty. Real shit. Men, men go from our gut and then it stops at the heart where we edit it. <laughs> we edit what this was. What this was was going to be foul. So I'm not going to say what this was. And then it goes into the brain for further evaluation. <laughs> touch ups, you know, analysis. Mm, okay, all right, that sounds good. And then you say it. We don't just spew stuff out, man. Because how we really feel about you, it, it just, it, it's not, it's not cool. <laughs> like this, how we feel about you. You said 10 years? Let me ask you a question, honestly. What's your daydream on how to kill her? You wanna get me killed? Here's where you're messing up. I'm gonna tell you where you're messing up. He goes, he says to me, hey man, you trying to get me killed? Do you see how we can't tell the truth? <laughs> the, the, the lie, right? That means that he thinks about it. See, do, do you understand what I'm saying? You should say, I don't think about killing my woman. But you go, you trying to get me killed? I, if I tell you how I kill this bitch, she gonna <laughs> kill me. So you might as well get it out now. How do you kill her, man? Just so she know. How do you daydream about it? And she look at it. She's, she's looking, looking at it. It's over. Just, sweetie, I'm trying to let you understand what you're dealing with. I'm just saying, the fact that you're alive means he didn't go through with it. He just... And I'm going to tell you why, why guys think about killing their women. It's because we love you. <laughs> Because I want you out of my life. But I don't want to hurt your feelings. So I'd rather you be dead than to break your heart. So we think about how do we kill this and get away? How do you do it, bro? I'll tell you how I kill my girl. I'll put a pillow over her head and shoot her twice with a silencer. <laughs> And the feathers come up, and I look oh under the pillow, and her eyes still be open, and I close her eyes, I close her eyes, and, she, oh my God. and I kiss her softly on her face, but she's dead. Oh you might as well spit it out, because it'll help you now, because it'll be, you can blame it on all, the whole situation, instead of later, when she's like, so, you yeah. <laughs> know, you Puerto Rican, right? Cuban? Oh, Lord have mercy. Like, 
whatever she's whatever accent and whatever anger she does in Spanish, she's gonna be on you. So you might as well just say it. Think about it. Is she gonna be on you? What is it? What are you? What, you know? She's thinking about it too. 